Hello, welcome to Hikate's Crossing as we continue our journey with the um, Dream Oracle here. So we're up to the Empress that we're continuing, sort of having a look at each card and a little bit of depth with this book. O oh, Mother Earth, kindly set me down upon a well-founded place. O oh, thou wise one, do thou place me into happiness and prosperity. Athava Veda. Right, the image, the Empress card is given the number three, representing stability. The image is of a woman seated facing us in some packs with wings coming from behind her back. She wears a crown and holds in one hand a scepter, a scepter topped by a globe, signifying the power she has to create a perfect world or a state of near perfection. Elsewhere in the card is a symbol or sigil for Venus, representing femininity. Her flowing robes highlight her maturity. In some illustrations, she carries a shield depicting an eagle, a symbol of royalty in the spirit. Surrounding her is a field of corn ready to be harvested. To one side is a waterfall in the midst of a grove of trees. The significance, the empress is by nature the feminine ruler, life giver, counsellor, open to all, practical and decisive. In the tarot, she represents woman, mother and domestic happiness, the female life-giving force. When under pressure, she can show disloyalty and a tendency towards stagnation, sterility, and unproductiveness. She warns also of the potential to put others before herself, often to her own detriment. Our traveller on this part of the journey meets a full burst of feminine energy. He must come to terms with the inexorably creative that the Empress of the Fruitful Mother of Thousands generates, just as a youth must understand his mother in order to mature fully and use his creativity so a girl must appreciate the full potential of her own femininity as a maid, mother, and wise woman. As part of the adventure, our traveller learns to appreciate the cyclical, cyclical aspect of Mother Nature and that there will always be a harvest, a consequence of his actions, whether good or bad. Associations and secondary images. The main association with the Empress is with the fecund corn goddesses such as Demeter and Hera symbolized by the field of corn. In addition, she has an understanding of the qualities of Venus, the goddess of love and beauty. She also has a connection with Isis, who is said to have brought about the resurrection of her husband, Osiris. Through sheer tenacity, she found all the various parts of him that had scattered to the four winds. Venus is her controlling planet. The Empress's crown, or diadem, symbolizes her royal status. It is frequently shown as having 12 stars, designating her the Queen of Heaven. It is also said by some to represent the 12 tribes of Israel, why others say the zodiac stars signify the twelve houses of the zodiac. Her cushion or seat in raising her above her mandane surrounds, surrounding symbolise her control of the more destructive aspects of knit love. She has much to teach others, but does so in a caring and nurturing way. Scepter and orb. The prominent image of the scepter in her hand also denotes her royal status and her right to rule, particularly within the feminine realm. The orb symbolizes the world and by the extension the cosmos, which cannot exist without her presence as mediator. It is her perception which brings with it brings about a balance. Trees and forests. The trees and forests visible in the card are a threshold symbol. The Empress must move forward with courage into new experiences. It is likely that in order to move forward properly, those who come to an understanding of her must undergo some form of initiation or undertake a special task. Water and waterfall. The water and waterfall depict the flow of energy and power necessary for creativity out of the energy that arises emotion and the ability to use. Oh, I never noticed that before. Okay. Use the power of that emotion successfully. Key elements feature um, element Earth, planet Venus, numerology is designated three. This signifies enterprise and a period of waiting for results or an outcome. Deities are Demeter, Hera, Venus, and Isis. Keywords are unity, pleasure, fertility, builder, reform, and related concepts. Universal mother, the power of love, pure emotion, the union of the masculine and feminine principles to bring about manifestation, the divine feminine power. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and blessed be.